Right now we're at war, but not against the Palestinians. We're, again, we're at war against the terror organization called Hamas. It's exactly the same as the war against ISIS, Al-Qaeda, or every other terror organization. It's not against the Palestinian people. I'm sure it will be a long operation, because we need to make sure that this will never happen again. Are you, is Israel willing to somehow allow corridors to allow some hate to Gaza? They will have to discuss it. And, you know, a war, it's something that takes time. A war, unfortunately, also, it's something that affects the civilians. I can assure you that when Israel strike, we do, we target only against uh, military targets and terrorist operatives. We do whatever we can and all of effort to minimize harm to civilians. Some civilians' infrastructures have been targeted. We do whatever we can in order to make to minimize the, the harm of civilians and civilians' infrastructure. But in a war, things like that happened. You know, when America went to war against Al-Qaeda after 9-11, when NATO went to war against ISIS in Iraq and, in, and against Taliban in Afghanistan, they went to war against terror and to make sure that the terrorists will, will be eliminated to save the civilized war. In that war, many innocent people in, in, in Kabul, in Afghanistan, in, uh, in Syria, and in Iraq lost their life because it happens in war. You said that uh, your war is against Hamas, not against the Palestinians. Do you think the Palestinian Authority still has legitimacy to talk to Israel as it has been doing for uh, decades? Of course, and we are in contact with the Palestinian Authority. That's not even a question. The problem with, with Gaza is that it was taken over by Hamas, and the Palestinian Authority does not control Gaza anymore. And it's, it's a devastating story because the people of Gaza also have been taken as hostages by this terror organization. Are you willing to sit with the alter, uh, Palestinian Authority to somehow solve this situation? We are sitting with the Palestinian Authority. We've been sitting with them for the last 30 years. That's not the question. Right now, if you ask me if now it's the time, no, now it's not the time. Now when, we need, when can it be? Now we need to concentrate in finishing this war against these terror organizations. Once we'll finish it, we'll talk about the next stage. Are you worried or Israel is worried about the possible contamination of the conflict to other borders of Israel? Of course we are worried. Nobody wants to, to, to have a, a large war. We want to, to finish what we are doing right now with the Gaza Strip. Number two, if the Hezbollah will make this huge mistake and decide that they want to go to war with Israel, we'll be ready. We can have two fronts. We can, have, we can fight also in three fronts. That's not the problem. I think... It will be a huge miscalculation by Hezbollah to do that, and they will pay for that. So I'm You not, are prepared for that? Of course we are prepared for that. That's not even a question. That's a, a scenario, a very real one for, for you? For Israel, this scenario has been real for the last 75 years. We've been prepared for that. But even the Palestinians in the, in the West Bank, they understand that what the, the Hamas is doing in the Gaza Strip is not representing them. Hamas... It's important to say that Hamas don't care about the people of Gaza. I'll tell you more than that. Hamas' goal, if you read its manifest, it's not to have Palestinian state. Hamas' goal is to make sure that Israel will be eliminated, to make sure that the Jewish state will be vanished. That's their goal, not to have Palestinian state. They don't care about their people. The best way to show it, they use their, their own people as human shields. We, and we are, have a lot of progress with the Palestinian <laughs> I have to, t to tell you something. If you go back to the last three months, what Israel has been doing uh, with the Palestinians of the Gaza Strip, for instance, we try to find ways in order to ease the way, to give more economic uh, relief to them, to, bring, to let more Palestinians from the Gaza Strip to enter Israel, to work in Israel, to earn more money, to make sure that they will get more funding. Even there is a, a program that we are working on, which is called Gaza Marine, that will bring gas into Gaza. All of that has been, we've been doing with the Palestinians of Gaza in the last three months. And during that time, the Hamas decided to attack Israel. So it shows you it's not about that. Probably. There are some fears about the fight of some Israeli citizens with Portuguese passports also. Do you have information about the whereabouts of these uh, people that are missing? I can say that uh, we are in contact with uh, the Israelis uh, side, are in contact with the Portuguese authorities and with your embassy in uh, Israel in order to see uh, exactly uh, how to deal with this uh, situation. Not only Portuguese, we have uh, lots of Americans that uh, 
Some of them uh, unfortunately died and some of them were taken hostages. French, Philippines, Nepalians, but also uh, Portuguese. Portuguese, they were taken hostage at the moment. They are in the list of the more than 100 Israelis there. They are in the list of, uh, of uh, we don't know yet where they are. It's, it's, as I said, and how it's, many are there? I cannot say right now because uh, all of that is still being uh, investigated and still we are trying to put all this, uh, uh, all the pieces together in order to understand uh, where they are. There were some um, acts of vandalism uh, here in Portugal. Uh, uh, we have uh, news about uh, in the synagogue of, of Porto. Is, is this an isolated case? I think it is an isolated case. Look, the, the amount of support I received from the Portuguese people, put aside the, the support that we received from the president and the prime minister, from the uh, head of parliament and member of parliaments, mayors, but the, the, the support that we received from the people on social media, on people that are coming and calling the embassy, and events, we had last night two uh, vigils in, uh, in Lisbon and one in Porto with hundreds of people coming to support Israel, it's really, it makes, fills my heart with, uh, with uh, pride and, uh, and it's really make me uh, feel that the Portuguese people understand us.